good story, do you? Well, today's a good day for a tale. Well, let's see. Now, it's late summer, early fall. Maybe a good story about the outdoors. Honey, will you bring my notebooks over here, please? Thank you. I generally keep these in a place where they're easy to get to and save them because they may come in handy someday and see what we can come up with. Oh, yes. Here's a good one, the turtle shoot. Now, this happened long ago when I was a young man. Oh, yes, I'll never forget this story. It has to do with the pond, a nice lady, turtles, and death. It all took place in the late summer. I think it was about 70 years ago, around the turn of the century. As a young man, I would fish. 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 And fish. And my favorite pond to fish in was Mrs. Beaver's Pond. Miss Belva Grant Boland, Beaver's Pond. BBBs as we called it. She was a nice lady, real nice. She had a neat old house on the hill. Filled on the inside with innocent antiques. You know, we did a lot of chores for Ms. Beaver, like cutting grass, killing fly ants, because she really appreciated it and she was good and kind to us. Then one day she called and wanted us to do something I had never done before. Hello? Hello, Miss Beaver. Oh? 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 Hmm. Oh, yes, I see. Okay, Miss Beaver, we'll be right over, sir. She wanted us to kill turtles. That's right. She said they were hurting the pond. She wanted us to come immediately over to her house to give more details. If I had known then what I know now, I would never have gone. 
me and my brother Pete drove over there in the old truck. enjoyed talking with Ms. Beaver. Now, Miss Beaver, back to those turtles again. Yeah. Mark had told me that that's what you called them on the phone about was you saw some more turtles down there. Did y'all get rid of those turtles? <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's what you mentioned on the phone. You said they're kind of so bad you can't even walk down there anymore. Yeah, well, they, um, I just... I told you the other day I went down there and I, I feel sure it was a turtle out there and he just kept like he's gonna come to the uh, bank there. Yes, ma'am. But he uh, then he turned around and went back and well, I, good. Said, I said, "Oh me, I don't know those old things. I wish we could get rid of them." But you say that it, I, I thought about this. There's so many people around. I reckon it's hard for you to shoot, isn't it? Shoot them. Yes, ma'am. That's about the only way to get rid of them to shoot them. Shoot them. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So we'll just get a group of people up and. We'll just go down there and I'll send Mark and Keith out there to scout them out and try to shoot them. If they have trouble, they can call us for backup and yeah. we'll run in and uh, attack them with more firepower. Well, I just wish you could get them. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my lady. Yes, oh. ma'am. Oh, dear. But don't worry. Oh, me, but I, so, I don't want nothing to happen to my daughter. It's them killing people before, too. Now, don't you laugh. Turtles can kill a man. I've seen it with my own eyes. You'll see. Something about it. Oh, me. I'm not glad. Well, I'm, that's, now I like my leak, and I don't want nothing in there like that. <laughs> we'll get rid of them, don't worry. I hope so. <laughs> I've got one in now. <laughs> but y'all be back in school before you know it. You yes, ma'am. <laughs> There'll still be turtles running around. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, like I said, y'all get those turtles now. Yes, That's a must. N U S T says those must. We'll get those turtles, but don't leave one. Don't leave one. We'll take care of. Okay. Move out. Yeah. We left Mrs. Beaver's pond and went home, where me and my brother finalized our battle strategy. We decided we would attack the next day. one, a real big one. I signaled back to Keith, but he was a little slow. I kept motioning for him to move up, move up. But he couldn't catch on. Finally, it hit him. Briefly, anyway. Move up. I see some turtles. Move up. I see turtles. What are you saying? Finally, I just went and got him. Mm. 
I kept asking the Lord to make me swift and accurate. always said, aim small, miss small, boy. Aim small, miss small. Aim small, miss small. Aim small, miss small. Aim... Hold on just one second. If I aim at a small object, like the turtle's head, and I miss, well then I'll miss the whole turtle's head. But if I aim at a larger object, like the turtle shell, and I miss, then I'll still probably hit part of the shell. But when my dad didn't know what to do, and frustration came upon him, he would sit back, sing and say, shooby dooby doo Hey, forget about it! But his would be in a New York accent, and a little more grit. His would bite you in the butt. Forget what my dad said. I just better shoot. I hit the only one I saw. So we thought the job was well done and headed on our way home. But suddenly they were everywhere. One, two, three, four, five, and on and on. The shiny little head sticking out of the water. We knew we better call for backup. We need backup now, repeat, we need backup. Then my brother, General Pete, came out. There was Lynette, myself, Tadpole, Eddie, Keith, Eric, and the flag boy Joseph.
It is starting to get sick. Battle fatigue. We were some of the last sights he ever saw. Then it hit him. Bam! He did! my bestest friend. I have long feared my sins will return to visit me. It costs more than I can bear. I'm a doctor, not a magician. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Then Eric picked up his hatchet and lost it. Why is this happening? He walked over to Eddie's killer. Started hacking. Hack, 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 and hack. He hacked up the storm. I looked on in astonishment. He had gone cuckoo.
Is that not why you came? Ah! Ah! Somebody has to do it. After Eddie's death and Eric's insanity, we were ready to quit. Man, I'm quit. Man, I, 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 think, I think I'm going to leave and go home. Me but then little Joseph picked up the flag. Enough's enough. Mm -hmm. I'm late. Mm -hmm. I had it. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Well. It reminded us of our commitment. And then the mysterious half-naked pantyhose whitey tidy worm woodsman went back into the woods, and all the turtles were dead. We had restored Ms. Beaver's pond. The end. Honey, will you light my cigar for me, please? Thanks, sweetheart. And that's exactly the way I remembered we really gave the turtles the old what for. You should have been there. You'd have been thrilled as well as scared. And that's all, folks, on that. But before you leave, I want to show you something else we've been working on and getting ready for you. This is called Bunnies in the Barn. It's really enjoyable. It'll be a lot of fun for you. You get a lot of laughs out of it. It's thrills. And be sure and tune in next time for this for a more pleasant, sweet story. You'll never know how much fun the bunnies can have once they get in that barn. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you again. So long and take care now.
When I was a young man, I would fish, 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 and fish. And my favorite pond to fish in was Mrs. Beaver's pond. Miss Belva Beaver Bolded Grant. <laughs> oh no.